There are many reasons to choose an apprenticeship at some point in your life. College level, bachelor's level and master's level all can be completed at any age, but we're talking to you, the sixth former who is considering university but wants more hands-on experience. We're also talking to parents of a teenager who's had their heart set on going to university but you are concerned about the cost and the possible lack of real career experience. This video offers answers to some of your questions and you'll find more information in the blog linked in the description below. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell for updates when we upload more helpful videos. What can you do? There are universities in the UK that offer apprenticeships at bachelor's and master's degree levels, also known as apprenticeship levels 6 and 7. Something else to consider. Remember, you are also able to do an apprenticeship at college level, also known as levels 3 and 4. T levels are another fantastic option for those just finishing their GCSEs. Degree level apprenticeships. An outstanding qualification that requires candidates to work towards a bachelor's or master's degree over three to six years. You will gain experience in a professional environment that suits your career choice. You will earn a salary while you are working and learning and will not have to pay university tuition fees as the costs are covered by the government and the apprenticeship employer. You can find out more about this using the Gov link that is linked in the description below. Things you should consider. You will need to be headstrong and self-disciplined as the student needs to be able to balance working and studying at the same time. You also won't qualify for student loans and might not receive the traditional university experience due to learning about work life. Entry requirements. The grades needed for each vacancy will vary and it is important to research this. Employers will look for more than grades, they will look for skills like communication, teamwork and leadership. How will the degree be assessed? The degree is assessed usually by completing an assessment at the end of the apprenticeship, also known as the end point assessment. You may complete assessments during your apprenticeship too. Which universities offer apprenticeships? There are universities across the UK which offer outstanding apprenticeship opportunities. Some are listed in the next slide, so please pause to read and take note. This list is not extensive, but it does explore some of the apprenticeships that the universities have to offer. Find more examples in the blog linked in the description below. Our friendly education experts are ready to help you with whatever your inquiry may be, so get in touch via the contact link or emails using the email noted in the description below. Did you enjoy this video? We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notifications so you never miss a new video, and maybe leave a comment below letting us know if you found this information useful.